Welcome back. Our next guest famously made the headlines, having been accused of eating a pet hamster in the 80s. An accusation <laughs> he strongly denies. <laughs> but it was another meal of uh, it was turkey testicles, oh, uh, comfy feet, grubs and uh, a pig's bum. <laughs> that was, was to be his undoing during his recent and rather short stay in the jungle. <laughs> I've got lost in Tasmania. <laughs> We got punished, didn't we? <laughs> this and, I'm, is the last and I'm deeply day. sorry about that. And I'm feeling so guilty about not getting it. Oh, my front oh. room smells like a hole. Oh. You may as well talk to that straight and talk to me, pal. You are a lunatic. You're a bit light -headed. Do you? Okay. I think I've had one five stars for the group. Then you go, about 25 minutes, you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> and Freddie Starr joins us now. Round of applause for Freddie. Lovely to see you, Freddie. Thank you very much. Uh, do you know, we were just saying then as we welcomed you into the studio that, that we were so gutted. So gutted. So gutted that you, that you had to come out. Let's, we'll, we'll go back a bit before that because you were late going in, weren't you? So yeah, because a, of paperwork. So paperwork delayed your arrival. Yeah, I was a day late going in because of paperwork. It was ridiculous. And so when you finally got in there, there was, there was the camp uh, and, uh, and what made you want to do it in the first place? Well, um, it certainly wasn't for the money and it certainly wasn't to win the programme because as all you get is a wooden crown and a stick. <laughs> and, and you don't get any extra money. So it was no use to me. And if anyone would have been sat next to me and, and it was two of us left, I would have said, you go and win the jungle. And I, I would have given them a crown, I promise you. Would you? I would have done that, yeah. So was it the challenge then? I just wanted to... I've got millions of fans that, uh, that tweet me and, uh, uh, and on my Facebook and, uh, uh, and it's like... They wanted me to stay in there so long and do the trials, mm. and I felt that I let them down, and I was gutted myself yeah, because once you, you yeah, go I'm to sorry, hospital, man. you know, as you sure, know, uh, the artist's welfare comes first. Yeah. yeah. And they couldn't find nothing wrong with me when I went to hospital. It, and uh, oxygen, yeah, Bob. Um, <laughs> it, if you get a splinter, he gives you oxygen. <laughs> you know, he runs up and slaps oxygen on your face, and you say, take it off my face, I don't need it. <laughs> and, you know, so straight away, um, because I was feeling a bit woozy and a bit light-headed, yeah. uh, to me, w what I recognised it was, it was... Um, the, the, and, uh, <laughs> sorry, I was dehydrated. <laughs> Dehydration. Dehydrated. <laughs> critically, that's what they told me in hospital. You're yeah. critically dehydrated. So, well, let's let's talk about that day and the, the way that day unfolded. Because you took part in a trial, and this is how that day ended. The, it was one of the last things we saw of you being carted off in the in the ambulance as you went. Um, you took part in that trail with Mark, which was. For us, the viewers and the Holly and I are both fans. It was one of the greatest. One of the greatest strikes. Get me out of here moments. Honestly, it's, really? it's up there. I can't even watch you do it because I'll go. You were mm. utterly, completely fearless. Mark said you were uh, you were a lunatic and that he, there was no way you would ever have stopped. And actually, you wouldn't, would you? No, I was I was not going to stop. In fact, it, Mark said to, to, to Ant and Deck. She was trying to cheat by hiding his worm yes, under his toast, and Dex said, "We've been doing this too long. Eat the rest." Yeah. So he it, 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 it has to do that. But the egg, the egg nearly got you, didn't it? In on all honesty. No. Did it? Not? I, I promise you, not no. But wasn't it just foul? It, it was rancid, and foul, and disgusting. But down it went, and everything else was going to go down. And what they did. He asked, what was the next thing if we would have been a tie-break? And he brought this cockroach mix-up with slime. And he said, that's what it would have been, cockroach and so-and-so -and, -so -so and slime. And I just got it and went... <laughs> and drunk it right back and put it down on the table. I went like that. What? Wipe my mouth just to rub it in further. <laughs> So, so we knew we knew watching <laughs> that this this was going to be uh, something that would be very very special for us all to watch. It was going to be great. You were going to prove to be the James Bond of the trial and utterly unbeatable. My name is Jim Bond. And then, of course, we have this nightmare moment which we just watched when you're carted off to hospital, and and everyone's talking about the fact that it could have been an allergy of some sort. Did anyone ever well, get to the bottom of what, what it happened? Was? was when I got to hospital, they took all my clothes off. 
everything. <laughs> I was laying naked, nothing on, and I looked them down at my legs, and they were all red from my stomach right down to my feet, red legs. And I thought, something's funny here. <laughs> and so they got the toxic toxicologist in, and I would take needles from my arms, my feet, my, my, my arms, my fingers, my neck, my shoulders, and they went through to test my heart, you know. Because you'd had a bypass. Yeah, and they said, you've got a heart like a 21-year-old. I said, well, I should do. I paid enough to get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, they, they took me blood pressure every 10 minutes, and they, they said, you've got a heartbeat of, uh, and heart blood pressure of a 21-year-old. So you have been bitten by something, a snake no, or a spider? I don't know, or... I, I have no idea. No idea. They couldn't find nothing wrong with me. Na nada. Nothing. So what about... And that's what the problem was. If they would have found something, yeah. they could have rectified it and it would have gone back it. in. Yeah. Mm. Well, um, what about your fellow campers? What did you make of them? Stephanie was not nice to you. Was she? All that business with the orange, when she went around giving everybody the orange and then left Oh, she was doing and... it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, she was doing it on purpose. She, you know, I, I, I didn't like her particularly. No, and you, and you say since coming out you've been watching it and mm. Pat Sharp's behaviour you're not a big fan of, are you? No, I think he's an arrogant man. Yeah, that's it. Who do you yeah. like? Um, I like them all, but they're all feeling hungry now. I can understand because mm -hmm. when you're out there, it's so difficult, a different to watch it. Yeah. Uh, when it's all been edited together and mm. very pretty, pretty. Mm. But, but when you're in there and you're starving, of hunger. Well, that's why I think Anthony Cotton's he's quite snipey and snippy um, because he's very honest. He's always been very honest. Um, but but Anthony, I think, is also suffering because of the hunger. Well, everyone suffers with the hunger. There's no difference, and that's why they all argue amongst themselves because they are actually starving. Mm. And it's all about playing psychological games with us. And I was trying to get everyone around me, if I would have stayed in, to play all the crew at their own game. And I was going to oh, go on a hunger strike. Oh, don't don't, because I'm just so I was going to empty my rice and my beans like that and bang them on the floor and, say, and throw them at the camera so we don't want any. Because that was the plan? That was the plan. Oh, it would have been great. Would, have would you go in next year? Not for a million pound. Really? No. Wouldn't do it again? No. Why? Um, be, because I don't have to prove anything, you know, and... Um, but, no, I, I, I don't think I, I would go back in. I'm just saying that, you know, mm. now as I feel that, like, because I'm jet-lagged, I've only been back a day, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, n no, though... Uh, maybe. So, maybe. No, you're saying never, but maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> um, listen, it's lovely to see you. I'm so glad you're all right. Yeah. And thank, thank you, you very much. Indeed. Indeed. And you've got a tour thank coming you. up, haven't we? You should mention you've got, I think, apparently you've got a 120-date tour next year. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. We'll put details very of that on our, uh, on our website. So oh, that's very nice of you. Thank no, you very much indeed. You can be my agent and uh, uh, no earn some money. 25%. Thank you very much. 10%. 15. No, 20. It's time now to get the results of our a celebrity popularity poll. Earlier we asked you to vote for your favourite campmate and Lembit Opic is live on the This Morning Dunny. 30%. <laughs> well, thank you, Philip Holly, and the incomparable Freddie Starr and welcome to the opulent surroundings of the no expenses spared studios here in the exotic environs of Australia, South London for Lembit's Hot Picks. Hot picks, hot picks. Moving on. You've chosen three people as your celebrity campmates of the day. Let's see who they are. In third place. Do I really have to do this? In third place. It's. It's missing, but I know it's Dougie. There we are. Here he is. Dougie. In second place. It is. Where's he gone? It's terrible, but I think it's probably Anthony. <laughs> and today, streaking ahead of the rest, your celebrity campmate of the day is. Mark! Mark! Don't oh. forget.
forget to join me again tomorrow for another hilarious episode of Lembit's Hot Picks. Can I go now? <laughs> Lem oh, Lem <laughs> tomorrow, Lem tomorrow Lem we're doing the top ten. Just like <laughs> 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 a bit longer. Oh my God! Make him suffer. That brilliant. That Please make him suffer. That was fantastic. He's a nutter. Oh dear. That's <laughs> pretty star saying that. Oh, Come out. We'll be back uh, in the cab for, uh, for more of your comments. Yes, I will be chatting to Dermot O'Leary amongst other things this Saturday. Expect a quarter five.